So our goal is to find the center of mass of a plate, which is shown outlined in green in the diagram. Experimentally, we found the coordinates of the center of mass to be somewhere around here. Uh, but let's use calculus to find the exact coordinates of the center of mass. In part one, we found the equations of all the boundary lines. So the line along the left side was x equals to 0. On the right side was x equals to 10. From the interval 6 to 10, the boundary line was f of x equals 10. And from 0 to 6, the diagonal line was f of x equals to x plus 4. And along the bottom, our equation was uh, y equals to 0, or if f of x equals to 0. In part 2, we calculated the area of our plate. And we found out that the area was 82 centimeters squared. And we did that by taking the area of the square shape and then subtracting the area of the cutout triangular part. The x value of our center of mass will be given by the formula 1 over the area times the integral over an interval a to b of x f of x dx. And in this case we're assuming that the density will be consistent throughout the shape. The y value of our center of mass will be given by the formula 1 over a area the in times the integral from a to b of 1 half f of x squared dx. The interval we're interested in is from 0 to 10 because that's the interval over which our shape occupies. We also notice that from the interval 0 to 6, let me just put in 6 here, over this interval, the top boundary of our shape is given by the function f of x equals x plus 4. And then from 6 to 10, the top boundary is given by the function f of x equals 10. Okay, so let's work out our x coordinate value first. So, our x value will be given by 1 over the area, which was 82. Now we have two intervals to worry about. We have to worry about from 0 to 6, and this will be given by x times x plus 4 dx, because our bound, top boundary line is given by the function f of x equals x plus 4, plus the interval from 6 to 10 of x times 10 dx, because the top boundary line from 6 to 10 is given by the function f of x equals to 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and work this out. I'm just going to get us some more space here. So the first thing to do here would be I'm going to distribute the x across the brackets here. And when I do that, I'll get the following. That would be 1 over 82, integral from 0 to 6 of x squared plus 4x dx. And I'm going to write the second interval here as 10x dx, distributing the x over the brackets this way. So I can just use the sum rule and the power rule to work this out. So our x coordinate would be 1 over 82. And this would give me x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared over 2 over the interval 0 to 6 plus 10 x squared over 2 over the interval 6 to 10. And this would give us 1 over 82. And we'd substitute in the value. So 6 cubed over 3 plus 4 times 6 squared over 2 minus 0 cubed over 3 plus 4 times 0 squared over 2, plus 10 
times 10 squared over 2 minus 10 times 6 squared over 2. Okay, let's clean it up a little bit. I should probably put some square brackets here and here. We also know that 0 cubed over 3 plus 4 times 0 squared, that'll all go to 0, so we can cancel that out. Here, uh, 2 and the 4, that would be a 2 up there. Same here, that would be a 5 and a 5 here. And when we work that out, we would get 1 over 82. 6 cubed divided by 3 is 72. 6 squared times 2, 36, that would be 72 as well. That will all go to 0. And then we have here plus uh, 10 squared times, that will be 500. And then 6 squared times 5 will give us uh, minus 180. Which gives us 1 over 82 time, if we add all that up, 464. And finally, let's give ourselves a bit more space here. We take the 464 divided by the 82 and we end up with approximately 5.66. And that becomes the value of our center of fat, the x coordinate of our center of mass. So we can go all the way back up and we'll know that this value here would be 5.66. So, let's figure out the uh, y value. So we use this formula here to find the value of the x-coordinate of the center of mass. So we'll use this formula here to find the value of the y-coordinate of the center of mass. Let's get some more space over on the right here, and we'll work that through. So our formula is 1 over a, the area, times the integral from a to b of 1 half f of x squared dx. So let's add the area. So we get y is 1 over 82. I can take the half out because it's a constant. And then we can get times the integral from a to b of f of x all squared dx. And just like we did with the x value, we'll have to break this up into two integrals from a 0 to 6 and then again from 6 to 10. So if we did that, we would get y equals to 1 over, I'll write, multiply that out, 164. So we would have the integral from 0 to 6 of x plus 4, that's the equation of the top boundary line over that interval, dx, plus the integral from 6 to 10 of 10 squared dx, because f of x equals 10 over the interval 6 to 10. Next, let's expand out these two parts here. If we did that, we would get y. 1 over 164, and this would be the integral from 0 to 6 of x squared plus 8x plus 16 dx plus integral from 6 to 10 of 100 dx. And using the rules of integration, we would get, that would be 1 over 164, we'd have x cubed over 3 plus 8x squared over 2 plus 16x over the interval from 0 to 6 plus 100x over the interval from 6 to 10. Okay, let's move up a little bit to get some more space here. And continuing to work this out, y would be 1 over 164. We substitute in the value, so we get 6 cubed over 3 
plus 8 times 6 squared over 2, plus 16 times 6. And I'm not going to add the, um, the 0 value in there, because I know it's all going to go to 0 when I do that. So then I'll get plus 100 times 10 minus 100 times 6, like so. Okay, finishing off, y would be 1 over 164. So 6 cubed divided by 3 is 72. I can see that the 8 will divide by 2 to get a 4. So 6 squared, 36 times 4, will be uh, 144. And 16 times 6 is 96. 100 times 10, 1,000. And minus 100 times 6, 600. We add all the stuff up inside the bracket, and that works out to be 712. And finally, let's get a little bit more space here. We take the 712, divide it by 164, and it works out to be approximately 4.34. And there we go. We found the y value of our center of mass. So we can come back up here and finish off our problem. So this value here would be 4.34. And so the exact coordinates of the center of mass of our plate are 5.66 and 4.34.